Okay, so this is the first view of uh, TikTok ads self-serving platform. So I'll just give you a quick overview how to create ads on it. I won't be actually creating an ad, but I'll just show exactly what has to be done. It's just a brief, uh, you know, walkthrough. So basically they have advertising objective. It's quite simple traffic conversions and app installs and for conversions you have to have you know uh, the pixels uh, installed so they have their own pixels i'll come up to it then there is like okay we will take traffic and then you can type in say the campaign name test campaign or tiktok so then you would be moving to the actual journey which is quite similar to facebook but facebook is comprehensive it's quite this is quite similar so you'll take some say test ad group and then automatic placement then you have the option of taking the placement selecting the placements also so so you can exactly select the placement i think the best would be tiktok if you want to get a uh, major uh, uh, exposure then promotion type could be of website and it could be of app so when you when you put the app when you put the, the url you get the download now button on it so you can you can either put the url or you can put the app id so there is a advanced settings for the conversion so you can link it their uh, platform is not uh, still um, they have to work a lot because just small mouse movements are creating an issue and uh, I think it is more of beta okay so again you would be facing issues I, I remember when I started using Twitter uh, ad platform initially I faced a lot of issues in it Mm, and the same is with this so it's it it would learn gradually and uh, eventually it will also grow so uh, audience i think we have to create new okay so it is taking you out of the platform which is quite uh, uh, cheesy i would say it should uh, create the audience inside the platform I'm doing it right away. I have not created an ad. Maybe okay. So they have the option of customer file. And so maybe you can upload the customer file to match customers with your platform. Maybe you would be having emails or uh, phone numbers which they will match and they will create the audience. Create a list of people who saw, clicked, or engaged with your content. I don't know how will you do that at present so there could be a list which you can download from your account i'm not pretty sure about it okay this could be done through tiktok pixel great list of people who visited the website so this would be the custom audience which we can uh, create and it is pretty straightforward so they have given me the pixel id which i have to install so that i would be doing later which is in the library but the worst part was that it took me outside the platform anyways i won't be doing anything because it's optional excluded is optional demographics i'll target say uh, so they don't have they have not given any search option they have the countries listed as of now whatever targeting areas are and uh, you can target as per the country so you can you cannot choose the areas maybe let me see inside india okay inside india they have the segmentation as per state and maybe state also let's dig deeper let's go inside go okay so they have areas they have some cities also so you can actually target the ads as per cities so let us select uh, okay let us select with jan again you will find some glitches on the platform gender let's take female for for the case okay so to selection is too narrow if i'll go with no limit narrow 
So what I'll do is I'll keep it India for now. I just want to see how much audience they have. So, uh, so there, uh, this estimate of the size of the audience that is eligible to see your ad is based on your targeting and placement setup of how many people were shown ads on your app. Okay, anyways, they are not giving any numbers as of now, but eventually I am pretty sure that. Let me go to the age. Yeah. Uh, they are giving basic metrics, but no numbers. So you won't be getting an estimate what kind of audience you are dealing with. Anyways, so there is one device option also. They have given you the option of Android and iOS. You can select, which is good. Connection type is okay. So, anyways, Wi Fi and 4G, whatever. I won't go with it. I'm just, you know, browsing. Let me put the daily budget. This part is also interesting. The whole word is not coming in this particular box. Uh, 2000 at least. So, I'll put 5000. Okay. Let me see if me it gives some numbers. I was expecting some change here. Anyways, run continuously all day. We have done enough bids. Let me billing event click. Okay, our optimization is. I'll keep 100 as of now. Nothing is changing. We'll go to next. Ready to upload. So I think it's. It's just showing you that it would be showing the ad on all the networks and everywhere. So while you are checking out the placements, you can even actually select TikTok, and it will eventually, you know, uh, take the exception and remove all other placements. I mean, as we are just, you know, making a test campaign to understand. It's uploading. It's optimizing. The good thing is that their platform is quite simple. You don't have to bug a lot. You don't have to play a lot. It's, it's simpler than uh, Twitter. And uh, as they will grow and optimize, I think that this platform will uh, grow more smart. Okay, so best part is you can select your thumbnails. So that is something very necessary. I've just taken a old campaign of oil so this is actually an ad so this is how your ad will look like okay this is your this is the logo which I had uploaded and this is coming from the, the video itself because I downloaded this video anyways add name auto generated please insert this is just a okay as we are typing, you could see here the text is appearing. This is just a sample text to understand how a TikTok ad will, will look like. Okay, so ad, uh, I think it is taking uh, some minimum number of characters, and after that, the text is truncated. So approximately there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So approximately 10 to 11 words you can take and call to action. Okay, so if you are having an app, then you can go for download. Or if you want to take them to the website where you are having shopping, e com website, then you can take shop now. So they have. Uh, some uh, customization in call to action which is good is good so let's go ahead let's submit it let's see what happens please set the creative of your ad okay i have not taken any thumbnail let's take this thumbnail i will take this thumbnail save thumbnail and let's move okay, now i have to put in details of my business uh, whatever postal code state I'll take any state just for the sake and I suppose then the contact information tax and tax information and you know we have to get the payment so this was it this is how you will create uh, a campaign 
I won't go go deep into the contract information tax and all. The major part has been covered. Uh, cancel. I don't know if we can save the campaign at this moment. So the way you were creating the campaigns, you cannot save it in draft. So uh, whatever has to be done is like. So I'll move to the campaign and it says leave side uh, changes made my may not be saved. I will leave. I will see what happens. It's just a demo video, anyways, so it's fine. You want to see the, whether it saves it in the draft or not. Okay, so it saves it. That is, it's good that we did this experimentation. So we came to know that it, it saves the ad. Just ad group not delivering in review. Okay, we have to add payment details. This is just a test sample. I will switch it off. I don't want to send it in review and that can then it gets disapproved. <laughs> ah, state is in review, so okay, so it won't take. Anyway, the point is that uh, the ad has been created. It is saved in draft, so uh, I think everything is fine and. Uh, I would get disapproved for the first uh, test campaign itself. So uh, let's go to the library also. Conversion. So I think the assets would be saved here. Uh, like you have business assets in Facebook Business Manager where you can save all the pixels, pages, etc. I think they have created something similar. So website pixel manage. Again, they are taking you out of the platforms, which is annoying. But uh, so here you have to create a pixel. Okay, I agree. Uh, pixel name. I'm a pro dot n. Okay. Save pixels and set rules. And you install use third party tag management. Okay, but I won't be going inside this because Tag Manager they will provide me a code. I think third party Tag Manager they will provide me a code or something to install. But the pixel is this, so uh, they have given you the procedure. You can just click and you know do it, uh, do the installation part. Mm, then let's go to Creative. I'm just going through all the options one by one so that you basically understand the dashboard. Okay, so this is what I have uploaded. So they have saved it in uh, uh, in the creative library. That's good. That's something nice. Uh, if I can, I'll see if I can delete it. Uh, I can delete it. Let me delete it. Otherwise, my <laughs> first campaign would be disapproved and it won't look good on my account. So uh, that was it. Let's go to audience. Okay, audience would be same. Uh, I have not created any custom audience, so there would won't be any audience. But the way we have demonstrated before, we can always create. Okay, so we created one audience. View content 30 days, but for that we have to install the pixels on the website. And reporting is the analytics part. So I'll say that to start with, it's not bad. Actually, it's good. I was not expecting this it, it's quite smooth for a novice it's quite easy you can just have your own dashboard start playing and they have uh, when some numbers and metrics will pop in here it look nice so that was it that was the first look of uh, TikTok dashboard ads dashboard and I hope you like it so subscribe to my channel and I am going to make a series on TikTok ads and TikTok analysis researches